Wayne Brown hooking us up with an amateur Muay Thai bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Coming out first, gentlemen, do me a favor. You're not in the parking lot. These are athletes. Do not hesitate to cheer for the ladies. They're going to come out and take care of business, all right? Equal cheers for equal work. Coming out first, she's fighting out of the red corner. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, just missing her contracted weight at 142.5. Doing it for Empire MMA and Fitness. Let's hear it for Asia Negron. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming out to the cage right now, we have Asia Negron. She is 26 years old, standing at five feet, eight inches tall, weighed in tonight at 142.5 pounds. And she is coming out of here, fighting out of Team Empire MMA and Fitness. What do we know about that gym? Well, we know their founder out there, Steve Urgel. Um, we know they got a bunch of fighters. I know his son trains out of there. And they've been sending people up here for a while. And I know Asia's been training down there for quite some time, but hasn't been fighting for a little bit. So I'm actually really anxious to see her get back in the cage. All right, and her opponent tonight gonna be fighting out of the black corner. She stands five feet, five inches tall. She weighed in at 139 pounds, and she's doing it for Wicked Ways Muay Thai. Let's make some noise for Brittany Parsons. <laughs> Like it. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Brittany Parsons walking out to the cage. She is 24 years old. She stands five foot five inches tall, and she weighed in at 139 pounds. She is a treat to watch, <laughs> and she is from Team Wicked Ways. What do we know about those guys? Well. Wicked Ways, you've got Kwame Stevens over there. Kwame's been around the game for a while, about 25 years he's been involved in Muay Thai, uh, not just here in Utah, but all over the country. He's been to Canada, Europe, Japan, Thailand, multiple other places where he's actually competed and trained and also coached. So he is a wealth of knowledge and uh, he kind of bounces around and helps people out kind of all over the place. He's, He's kind of the go-to Muay Thai guy in the state. So she's definitely getting some really good training over there with Kwame. Uh, Brittany is great. I mean, I've seen Brittany fight multiple times. Like I said, she is a treat to watch. And I've been actually really looking forward to this fight um, yes. on the on the card. Um, knowing Brittany and, and what she puts on, she's been, been dominating everyone in the last time we fight. Um, Asia is the force to be reckoned with that I haven't seen in a while. So right. kind of seeing those two collide again made me excited. Right. Well, and what, one thing that we're gonna, I'm gonna point out real quick, if, if you're watching is, this is our first Muay Thai, our only Muay Thai bout tonight. So similar to the kickboxing, some rules are a little bit different. Like you can clench for a longer period of time, you can plumb the head, you can throw elbows, which actually count for more points than punches. You can throw, you know, more knees and everything else. But if you notice, they're both wearing elbow pads. Yes. And that's because this is an amateur Muay Thai fight. And within the state of Utah, the rules with amateur Muay Thai fights, you do have to wear the elbow pads. Yes. Uh, if it was pro, there would not be elbow pads. But more damage can be done with those elbows without those pads they on cut. there. Yeah, they cut. And there's a lot more impact than what you have on your gloves. So. Well, and, and watching these, these two ladies kind of fill each other out, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. No, these ladies are warriors, and they're doing a great job of kind of back and forth uh -huh. exactly. uh, on, on their filling out of each other. Exactly. Again, not over committing, but at the same time, not really like a sparring match. They're definitely throwing, and they're they're trying to enforce a little bit of their will. Yes. But also trying to fill out what they're capable of doing with that opponent. Yeah, they're not going full bore in there, but they definitely are trying to hurt each other. Good hands by Asia. 
Uh -huh. She's got very clean hands. Well, Asia's got very clean hands. She's got power. She's got power in her kicks as well. Right down the middle. I think this is going to be Brittany's toughest test to date. I'd like to see Asia be a little bit more confident in those th those hands. Uh, the best way I could say it is a few of those strikes that she threw, she kind of hesitated on. Uh, she, like she threw a leg kick to start. Uh, right there, you see her throwing a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a little bit more of what she's capable of throwing. It seems like she was holding back. She threw a leg kick to start that combo about 15 seconds before the end of the round. She threw a leg kick, and you could see her really pull back on the leg kick and not really throw anything yes, into I it. it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I really want to see her come alive more because she does, like you said, have very strong and impactful kicks. Uh, and technique is there. I would love to see her kind of come alive a little bit more in this second <laughs> round. Unleash. Yes, both of them. Yeah, because both of these ladies, I would not want to get in a fight with either one of these ladies. It, like at all they they both hit harder than i do so i, I want to see them use those tools that i know that they have that we've seen both yes, of them have yes well i, I think britain's trying to get a get a read on everything well i, I, I think asia's a bit longer mm -hmm. than normal well and i think just like you said i think asia's also trying to get a read on because she knows the power behind britney as well, well and Brittany's landing, you know, so they're, they're both landing. Yes, and yeah. So it's, it's stifling a, 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 each other's game a little bit. Let's see yep. who figures the, the, chest piece, the chest puzzle out first. Right. Right? All right, round number two. Here we go. Yeah, Asia definitely has a good reach on her. Yes. Ooh, nice right cross off of that. Clench and then stuff the jaw and then stuff the leg kick. Mm -hmm. when, when Asia starts to get her distance, that's, yes. that's when she starts landing clean. Well, you see, Brittany's pedaling a lot more right now than she was in the first round, too. Watch her, watch her footwork as she slips around to the left uh -huh. a lot and throws some of those punches when they get close. Yeah. Yeah. You're seeing changing a lot more, those angles. Yeah, you're seeing a lot more pedaling and change of those angles than you were in the first round, too. Well, we have to. Yeah. Well, you don't want to stay the same. Yeah, these, these are the adjustments we're, we're, we're trying to make, you know. Ooh, nice push kick. Uh -huh. <laughs> one right back yeah. at her. Looks like I got one, too. Nice. Oh, very good. <laughs> Use that push almost like a stomp. Yeah. I hear uh, Asia's corner calling for calf kicks. Ooh, nice elbows by yes. Asia. Utilizing that cage. I'd love to see Asia utilize that cage more. Yeah, well, she was doing a good job, and she's pressing up and throwing those elbows. Exactly. But I exactly. do. I love the way that Brittany was able to create distance using that push kick against the cage to get Asia off of her a little bit. Ooh. Good forward progress by Asia. Yes, yes. Come on. You see a slip by Brittany. Ten second click. Asia's definitely landing some clean shots. Yes, yes. I, so let me ask you, who won those rounds? I think Asia won the second round for I, sure. I agree. I, I agree. I think the first round. I I don't know. Again. It's hard in those rounds where it, where it seems more of a feeling out, mm -hmm. when they're both kind of enforcing the same amount of their game plan on the other person. I feel like that first round could have gone either way in the judges' eyes, uh, so I'm not gonna guess on it, but I think that second round was definitely Asia. Asia yeah. just did such a good job of continuing to push forward, okay. landing those strikes clean down the middle, landed some big elbows, uh -huh. and uh, landed a lot more kicks as well with those push kicks, utilizing her distance. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. Uh, that second round is definitely Asia's, and then that first round, is, it's hard to tell. So playing devil's advocate, or not even necessarily devil's advocate, we'll go ahead and give that one to Brittany. And, we'll, and this third round that we're going into, to me, is a definitive round. Yes. Right? I mean, if Asia can get it, you got the W. Um, if Brittany can Brittany get it. Can get it, it's a possibility. Potentially, she gets yeah, the W, yeah. She gets the W, too, so. Going into this, I'd like to see who can really impose their will. For Brittany, I'd like to see Brittany kind of continue utilizing those angles. 
And Brittany was very mobile at the beginning of the ice. Yes. Handle slipping and ripping. Uh, yeah, her she was on she was on her pedals the whole time. Exactly. And for Asia, I'd like to see you continue using that one too that you've been yeah. using all night. And and start to to bully Brittany. Start to push her back against that cage. Right. And well, start to use those elbows. It, Asia is so effective when she's strong in her stance. Uh -huh. But it's the exact opposite of what we see out of Brittany. Brittany is really effective when she's not stuck in her stance. Yes, when she's mobile. Yes, the more mobile she is, like we're seeing that for the first 10 seconds of this fight, uh -huh. of this round, you're really seeing her move around a lot and land stuff. She's popping out and then back in, coming to the side and then closing the distance again. But she was doing that the first round as well, which makes me think that she could have gotten the first round by doing that. But again, the imposing force of what we know is Asia, right. right? Nice head kick by Asia. Doesn't land clean, but still lobbing it up there. Yeah. Ooh, Brittany lands her yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, he got it up there. Nice jab down yeah, the middle for Brittany. Eight. We're headed too. So, I mean, that, that is a little bit to this tail of the tape, right? Um, um, we did say that Asia did come in two pounds heavy, I believe. Right. So, we did miss the contracted weight. I, I'm loving the exchange we just saw a moment ago where every time that Asia would throw a punch, Brittany would throw a push kick at the same time, <laughs> and they would both connect because that, show, that reach <laughs> that Asia <laughs> has matches the leg reach that Brittany has. It's fantastic. Another good head kick by Asia. Now let's see Brittany kind of step in. Hit that body, slip back out. Yeah. There we well, go. Like that. There got, we go. Only Good got about five though. seconds left. So she's able to capitalize anything. Either one of them. Nope. This is going to go to the decision. That was a great fight by both yes. of these ladies. Yes. I don't think that either one of them gave up any real ground. Agreed. Agreed. I, I think that in that second round, I definitely think that Asia was able to capitalize more, utilizing her reach and aggression. Uh -huh. I don't know if she was able to do the same thing in this third round. I feel like she did land a lot. But at the same time, so did Brittany. I think that Brittany countered everything that Asia threw out there. Almost head kick for head kick, too. So uh, I'm excited to see. I want to hear what we want. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the judges say. So let's take it to the cage and find out. Sounds good to me. We got great gyms like the Assassin Muay Thai over at Team Link in Layton. Private lessons available, ladies, I'm telling you. You want to uh, take some aggression out appropriately? Come hang out in the gym. We'll get you in the best shape ever. We'll make a big deal out of it in the cage. So let's make some noise for the red corner, Asia Negron. <laughs> and let's hear it for her opponent out of the black corner, Brittany Parsons. All right, ladies, can I get both fighters to the center of the cage, please? I am so glad I just announced and I don't have to judge. Do me a favor, one more time, make some noise for these warriors. Here are your scores. Nathan Burbank with a score of a 30-27. Dan First with a score of 30-27. Steven Farragher, say it with me, a score of 30-27. Oh, winner by unanimous decision. Out of the red corner, Ajo Negron! Ajo, let me get you over here. You're good, you're good. Beautiful fight, beautiful fight. Anything surprise you out there tonight? Uh, well, not really. I knew she was going to come in super technical, teeping like crazy, which is exactly what she did. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to be able to kind of know what she was going to do ahead of time. So. Yeah, I mean, you guys did great. It was 30-27 on the cards, but, I mean, it was closer than that. I mean, yeah. but you did great. I haven't seen you for a while. I was really excited for this fight. Are we going to see you in the cage more? 
Oh, definitely. Definitely. I'm back for a while. So. Beautiful, beautiful. So you got any family, sponsors, gyms you want to thank? Oh, definitely want to thank my family over at Empire MMA. Everyone who helped me train during this camp at different gyms. Um, they, thankful for my sponsors over at Solstice Salon. I've got so many people to be grateful for. Cristali has been my support system this whole time through. Thank goodness for her. So, so many people. There's people out there I didn't even name, but thank you guys so much. She wants to thank everybody. So, all right, everyone, can I get a big round of applause for Asia Negron? Great job. Great job. I'm telling you, ladies, opportunities there. Lace up, punch your way through that glass ceiling. Come hang out with us at Steel Fist Fight Night. We will make some noise for you. One more time, let's hear it for your winner. Out of the red corner, Asia Negron.